Coco, investigators think that two cars were street racing out here early this morning when they crashed into another car at a very high rate of speed. And that impact was so intense that it scattered debris all over this intersection. And tonight we learned that a driver has been arrested. This is the aftermath of a violent crash in Downey. The impact so intense it left three cars mangled and one overturned. Sarah Cordor saw it happen and ran to the people injured. Oh, I used my medical training in this situation to help out as best as I can. Dozens of firefighters were called to the chaotic scene where they loaded multiple victims onto stretchers. Detectives with Downey Police say three cars were involved in this collision that happened at 1.30 in the morning Sunday. And investigators say street racing is likely to blame. I do see street racing. Usually it'll be like on this street here. As shocking as it was to learn about the crash, people familiar with this area say street racing happens all the time. It's not surprising though. A lot of kids are doing this and you know the parents are giving them these powerful tools to do it with. It's just unfortunate. One person was arrested on suspicion of felony reckless driving and hit and run, leaving people in this area concerned about their safety on the road. It does scare me. It scares me a lot. Five people from those three cars involved were taken to the hospital, some with serious injuries. Witnesses like Sarah say the damage and injuries were frightening to see. And I did the best I could to help the girls. I tried keeping them conscious. A scary crash caused by possible street racing, leaving drivers upset knowing this violent scene could have been prevented. I just hope they make it out of this. I hope they're okay. And at this point, it is unclear whether or not the suspect was one of the five people taken to the hospital early this morning. But after seeing just how mangled those cars were, investigators say that it's very fortunate no one died in this crash. Reporting live in Downey tonight, Jessica O, Fox 11 News.